the girl your son is married to, and he seems to be one of those rough fellows ever with the sword. I'll cut and thrust. He threatened, and he roared. He killed a man, he said, and did appear no more concerned than drinking off his beer. I taxed him on the topic, I must say, and showed him very clearly of the way the marriage may in time to get retracted, considering the violence he enacted upon the person of reluctant groom. I then explained, the courts may well assume the father's rights, which may sway the decision in light of all your money and position. Before too long, he was so stricken dumb that he would settle for a certain sum, and for the cost of horse and guns and mule, he won't be tempted to some awful duel, as long as he is somewhat compensated to let the marriage be deconsummated. Oh no, Scarpan, I'd rather go to court. Oh, sir, if you think this man may extort, give thought to all the law's great machinations which frustrate men of endless wealth and patience. Think of appeals and writs of jurisdiction, rapacious beasts of wicked predilection. <laughs> Another thief who looked to give your pocketbook relief. These bailiffs, lawyers, counselors, and clerks, reporters, and the judges, each one shirks the fairness that they owe for slightest perks. And then you'll know just how the system works. A bailiff serves a false writ on your case, and you may disappear without a trace. Your lawyer may be got at by your foe and sell you out for bits of ready dough. Your counsel might be won out that same way and fail to make appearance on that day, or else he'll argue everything obscurely and see to it you lose the case securely. These court reporters clerks find ways to hamper by stealing the transcription, which they tamper, excuse me, that is assuming that the court reporter transcribed it all as said in improper order, and even having made it past them all, the judge himself, my brother, make you crawl. Some pious folk solicit him against you, or else some woman that the man intends to. Senor, I must beseech your sense of worth. Do not get caught inside this hell.
been through this awful rubble, we've all had to avoid it, was the snide remarks in which these lawyers take such pride, which they express for all the world to hear. I paid 300 just to not appear. <laughs> 